But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Oh my god. Hey guys. It's me again, Lonnie Good. So what's popping? Um, thank you so much for everyone who watched my story. Time, I didn't know whether you like it because obviously on my channel, I feel like I'm more known for doing games. And if, if that's what you prefer of me to do, trust me when I say I have more games. I've got two games already filmed, it's just about when I drop them. And also, Ivy and Doll's music video comes out on Friday, I believe, which is the 3rd of um, March. 3rd of April, 3rd of, of April and I was at the music video and I shot a vlog so that's going to be fucking interesting it's going to be different because I don't do vlogs but then also I've got two games in it I've got silly games, I've got pranks coming up listen, during quarantine, yeah we're getting busy with filming, content's coming so don't you fucking worry about it if you are a new like person you've never fucking heard of me then where you fucking been? I'm lit, don't you know bitch? And if you're a returning subscriber, then I fuck with you heavy, you understand? Anyway, so, you know, I was telling everyone a story or whatever yesterday, and I'm gonna fucking continue it, because part two is way fucking juicier, part two is way fucking funnier than part one. I just wanna say something real quick, though. I saw a lot of people, like, not a lot of people, but a couple guys being like, oh, yeah, you was the side chick, the stat, and the third. You trying to put me down? You trying to put me down? Let me tell you something, you little bitch, before you try to fucking come for me i am a fucking victim do you understand because i didn't know that this prick had gal if i went into a situation knowing then cool i'm a side chick let's let's eradicate this if a girl doesn't know and she finds out that this nigga has things or has a girl or has a main thing if she finds out and she didn't know and basically there wasn't consent like she she didn't go into it knowing yeah you have you have other things and i'm cool with it then how can she be how can you be putting the negativity on her put the negativity on him he's a fucking fuck boy and the people saying that you're fuck boys too you understand and you can never trigger me because let me tell you something i don't give a fuck about him and I don't give a fuck about you so suck your mum rude boy yeah suck your mum rude boy and your dad go lick your mum's fanny fucking cunt talking to me like that who's the fucking think he is but i'm a side chick did i fucking know but the, he had things anyway so let's check out what we left off do you understand so okay so basically i'm not gonna lie to you this story i was very stupid in this whole situation because i really liked him and i wanted it to work out so when he came back from um the maldives <laughs> I almost forgot what I told you lot because obviously I had to change some stuff. But when he got back from the Maldives, he wanted to meet up and have a talk. So I was pissed off at first, but you know, I really liked him. So he wore me down. I went to meet him to talk to him. So we met up, right, to talk. And he was like to me, um, basically, because I was basically like, it's over. It's over. It's over. You can't have me and have other girls. Like, what? Like, no offense, but I ain't competing. I'm not competing with other girls for your love. I'm not competing with other girls for your attention. I deserve to be the apple of your eye. I am the queen. And um, he basically said to me, yeah, no, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. He was just like, and I was just like, why did you take her when you had me? Like, so I said, what? I said, be honest with me. Is this a girl you've been seeing or that you like? Is this your girlfriend? Um, why her like do you know what i mean because he'd been only seeing me for two months so he but potentially this girl was there before me so obviously he has stronger feelings for this female so that's why i was just like wagwan well, like who is she to you and then he was like to me no 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 man ain't got stronger feelings for her or nothing like that basically i've been seeing her longer than you i know her better than you so i for me to spend that kind of money because obviously it's expensive to go to maldives i was more comfortable spending on a girl that i knew and that be, i'd been basically fucking for he said he'd been fucking her for on and off like two years and i said two years and you haven't cuffed her and he was like yeah because it's not that she knows her place when he said that that was alarm bell red flag number one she knows her place and you know what i want to just say something i want to make a disclaimer a lot of us girls, yeah, when we have the upper hand or we think we're that bitch, because we meet a guy and he's talking about another girl, he's like downplaying his relationship with another girl, and he's like, nah, you're, you're my queen, innit? Like, don't worry about her, she's psycho, she's crazy, I'm not feeling her. Never trust that shit, fam, because one day he's gonna talk about you like that. Trust and believe that bitch. Trust and believe that bitch. 
Don't get me wrong, cool, you might be prettier than the other girl, you might be litter than the other girl, you might have more dough than the other girl, you might be more popping than the other girl, but eventually, he can't help it, he's a fucking dog, so he's gonna be a fucking dog to you, do you, do you understand? So anyway, I, I should have known, like, I don't really rate guys that talk shit about exes or girls they've linked, why would a girl be around for two years linking you? Like, just linking you, like, he's not going anywhere, you must have said something to her, you must have gassed her a bit, she, she must think that this is going somewhere like she can't be that stupid like some of this must be your fault because you're misleading or you're a prick like fair enough fair enough she might be a very naive girl but he has to take some accountability to why she's stuck around do you, do you understand like you can't completely look believe what the guy says and like yeah she's nuts no 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 L listen as women we need to take the side of the female sometimes you can't really like look at it always from the guy's perspective and be like yeah he right she's probably a psycho um she, she ain't lit like me she ain't pretty like me that's why he's on me he's got a real one now you don't do that don't don't do that because if he's a dog he's a dog in it so anyway he said that but obviously like i wanted to believe that i was like the apple of his eye so i kind of took his word for it and then i said he was like obviously like like i said i've known her longer than you so that's why like i, I flew her out over you because of the bread like i didn't want to spend two grand on a girl i just met it'd been two months and i was like cool so i said to him look i'm having it if you're seeing this girl i'm i'm out and he was just like what and i was like yeah i'm out and he was like what and he was like no nah, i can't lose you so then he was like to me you know what what do you want like what can i do to make it up to you and then i said to him um like basically get rid of her like i was so like i thought i was the queen i was like get rid of her get rid of her or i'm gone like kind of thing so he was like, cool, cool, cool. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I'm gonna get rid of her, I'm gonna get rid of her, I'm gonna get rid of her. So I'm thinking like, yes, you get, you get me? Like, the, the queen fucking spoke, I got my man, like, we're good. Like, ah, I was so dumb. I was so fucking stupid. Like, honestly. Honestly, I should have looked more deep into it. Do you know what I mean? Like, why would this girl stick around for two years? She's, like, how can she be stupid? It's not, like, I, I, I was just, I was just naive. I was just, I was believing what I wanted to believe. So anyway, um, so we, we made up and I think within two to three weeks of us making up, I was at his and this is where it gets juicy, bitch! This is where it gets juicy. I was at his and he, um, oh, what was the first one? The first one was this. I was at his and we were sleeping and it was two or three in the morning, really, really late and there was a knock on the door. There was a knock, yeah? So, no, no, there was a buzz, because it was it was an apartment. There was a buzzer, so the buzzer went off, and it woke me up because it kept going off, and I was just like, what? Like, the buzzer is going off at two in the morning. That's weird, isn't it? And he goes, maybe it's my neighbor, and I was like, okay, cool. It kept going off, kept going off. He said, ignore it. So it disappeared for a, little, a minute, like five minutes, 10 minutes. I was trying to fall back asleep, and guess what? The front door goes. So that's Bruh. just what I did right now. <laughs> Bitch, the whole front motherfucking door goes. She's at the fucking door at two o'clock in the morning. It was a whole female. Bruh. A whole vagina was at the door. A Bruh. whole woman, fam. A whole female. But. He thought I was stupid, so he tried to play it off. So at first he was like, no, 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 it's feds, it's feds, it's feds, it's feds, it's feds. He was going everywhere, he was going to the fucking balcony, he was going to the fucking kitchen, balcony, kitchen. He was having a bit of a panic attack, because I think he knew who it was, yeah? And obviously me and him, we just made up, so obviously he's techie right now. And I'm not saying it was just techie because of me, it was techie because of her, it was techie because of me, it's drama, it's three in the morning, I have to deal with these bitches. So he's stressed out, yeah? So he's running around, running around, and he tells me to keep quiet, it's feds. So I say, cool, so I'm just sitting in the corner like a little hermit, just like this with my head down, quiet, looking sad. Looking like a little fucking hermit, yeah? He's like got, walking around, walking around, and then he's in the kitchen for a while now. So I thought, fuck it, let me go to the door. So I went to the door now, I look for the people, and I see a young lady, and she was a black girl. And I want you to remember me saying she's a black girl, because that's a very important detail, that she was a black girl. Remember I said that, yeah? I remember I said when he was in the Maldives, the girl sounded like she was a black girl. She had a black accent, yeah? She had a black accent, yeah? Remember I said that. So... I hear her, yeah, she's on the phone to her friend, yeah, when I'm looking through her keyhole, she's like, oh my god, oh my, she's crying, 
Like, she is in tears. Oh my God, oh my God, I know he's in there. I know he's in there, but he's not opening the door. He's not opening the door now. Like, oh my God, I know he's in there with a girl, man. Why won't he open the door? Is this what he's doing to me, yeah? Anyway. Eventually, he told me to stay in the room. He opened the door and all I heard from the room was wham! Some shuffle, shuff, shuffling, like it was a brr, 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 pushing, brr, wham! You understand? And I'm just thinking, this whole nigga did not just, is not just having a fight in the fucking corridor with this bitch. And obviously he's a boy in it and he's, he's tall, so he like a controller, but they were going at it, mate. They were like, oh, oh, the punch, punch. Yo, they were fight. she was, ah, oh, you know what, I should have gone to cheer her on. And I, you know what, I feel her, fam. Have you ever had a guy do you dirty, yeah? And you were so in love with him. Yo, I, I feel her. I wasn't there with him, but I've been there before. When she was punching him, yo, I've been there. When you just wanna fucking kill your nigga, like, you're gonna kill him. Like, I'm gonna kill you! So fucking cheer on me! I know the feeling. I know the feeling, bitch. I've been there. I've been there, bitch. So, to be honest with you, I thought, oh my God, this is some deep shit. Like, this girl's in love with this guy. So I locked myself in the bathroom. I was scared. I was really scared. I called my mama. I was fucking crying. Like, oh my God, I can't believe Bumba Kala. Bumba Kala, oh my God, like, there's a girl that's coming out. I don't even know what she his girl. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I told my mom to come get me, but where he lived was kind of far, so it took my mom about 45 minutes to come get me. So he, this is what it gets a little bit mad, didn't it? Lani comes out. So I get off the phone to my mom. I call my brethren. Sorry, um, are you on crack? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm just telling a story. Okay, it's a bit, it's a bit wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just telling a story. My sisters have come to join me. Hi guys. I'm mad. Do you remember when Bombacala you had to come drive to pick me up from Bombacala's house? Yeah, I remember. Tony, oh, that's one in the morning. Yeah, but I've just put your towel over here. Over. Oh, you don't want me to sit on it? Why, because I have a smelly ass? <laughs> okay. So, you want to eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said half past seven, fam. So, yeah, so I'm just like, what? This this nigga, cool. So, like, I'm crying. My, my, my mom's on her way. I, I, I leave the, the, the um, bathroom now because it gets a bit quiet. Yeah, it gets very very quiet. So I leave the bathroom and I'm like fucking I'm um, walking around walking around I call my brethren on, on, on FaceTime I'm like bitch you won't believe this la 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 my best friend Sarah So I call Sarah and I'm like oh my god 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 no 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 And she's like what and I said what should I do and she goes just do something dirty So I was like okay cool 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 so I go to the kitchen yeah and I go to the kitchen to go find myself a knife and I thought I'm gonna do something, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. He's not here. He, him, and the girl are not in the in the apartment. They have left. So imagine he has taken this girl out to calm her down or pattern her. He has removed her from the premises and left me in there. Now you guys have to remember that this is dodgy. Imagine you went to your man's house and he had a ting in his bed, and he takes you lot out. So I was waiting for him to come back and tell me to leave because him and his girl had to sort things out. That's why I went to get the knife, innit? Because I was just like, I'm going to fuck you up. If you try and disrespect me, I'm going to fuck you up. That's why I went to get the fucking knife, innit? But then I couldn't wait. So I just started slashing shit, slashing, slashing, slashing. And then it was a bit fun because the pillows were made of feathers. So I was just slashing the pillows, slashing the pillows, slashing the pillows, slashing the pillows. Woo! Feathers everywhere! I'm gonna um, insert a picture of um because I, I have a picture of what I did to the pillow, but yeah, just slashing, 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 making the room look like a fucking mess. And then you know what? Because this guy had bread, I thought to myself, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna leave the situation without um benefiting in any way, bitch. Every time, I, because he used to like give me money all the time. You know, he I, he was the perfect man. I'm not gonna lie. So every time I used to leave him, he would I, I'd be like, can I have some money, babe? And he would like give me like cash and whatever and he used to put it in this 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 drawer so i knew where the money was so i went in there looking for money but there wasn't a lot of money that day but uh, it was only 20 quid but whatever if it, i swear to god if it was more i would have taken it i was so angry but yeah i took the 20 quid whatever slashing 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 and then i locked myself in the bathroom because i was scared and i thought my mom i hope my mom comes before he comes in it so i can run downstairs anyway he come back in the room 
Oh, he was pissed. He was so angry. Fam, I locked myself in the bathroom, you know. This nigga broke the bathroom door down. He broke the bathroom. I was shook. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna beat me up. Um, anyway, he when he opened the bathroom door, he was calm. I'm not gonna lie. And I was I was like, wait, I was thinking, where's the girl in it? Like, where's your where's, where's your girlfriend, fam? Like, where's your girlfriend? You and your girlfriend gonna fight me? Anyway, he was like to me, she's not my girlfriend. And I was just like, mm -hmm, so why she come here? And then he was like to me, because I broke up with her. But like, I ended it with her. And I was like, why'd you end it with her? And I was like, I ended it with her for you. So do you get it? This girl apparently is the girl he took to the Maldives. Does that make sense to you lot? Like really, Bruh. does it make sense to you? Why would you do that with a girl you just flew, like you just flew out? Why would you do that to her? So anyway, um, <sighs> this is so mad, this story, isn't it? So I was upset, but I believed it. I actually believed Bruh. it. Um, I don't know if I should have, but I believe I believed it at the time anyway. Like I thought, it makes sense, you know, that she's come in. Like, a girl's never knocked, do you know what I mean? A girl's never knocked. So he's ended it with this girl, she's really upset, he's chosen me over her, and that's why she's here. So I trusted him, I just thought, you know what? He made the girl go, and I'm the girl who's who's remained here. He, it, It's like, what main thing would let the nigga go back to the bitch he's with? That could never happen to me. If I was seeing my babes, and I went to knock at his door, and he had a bitch in there, that bitch has to leave. If he tried to make me leave, he would absolutely, positively die. I would absolutely murder him. And he would know that. So, oh, let me just lift my boob. Oh, let me just take some water. Let me just take some water. But guys, so, um, I believed him, but not for long. Not for long, not for long. Let me tell you, I'm gonna end the story here, but there's no more to this, there's more to this story. So if you want a part three, if you want a part three, bitch, I can give you a part three. I can give you a part three and the part three, wait, let me just end it before I tease part three. So, there was a couple of weeks later, I was there again and this time, we were having sexual intercourse in the middle of it, ha ha having it and um, the buzzer goes off. Yes, you heard that right, bitch. You heard that right. You heard that right. You heard that right. I bet you're thinking, auntie, auntie, you went through all of this, huh? That's probably what you're thinking. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, auntie. Listen, another fucking buzzer, bruv. The buzzer went off again, fam. Mm, and this time it wasn't that late, it was like 9 pm. So I'm thinking, who is this? Is this the same girl? That's, that's where. <laughs> is this the same girl? That's where it gets interesting. You lot guess. Do you think it was the same girl? Just Bruh. guess. Was it the same girl? Was it the black tin? Was it the black girl? Ah? Ah? Hello? What do you think? What do you really think? Fam. This girl was a lighty. This girl was a mixed race tin. I thought, is it? Uh hey! Uh huh! Is it? Bro! Like, like, let's just keep it 100% true, innit? There was bare bitches. There was bare hoes. It was clear. That's when the petty really motherfucking dropped, you understand? There was bare hoes, bare bitches. All the motherfucking time. And do you know what? It took that happening for me to clock that I was one of, like, one of three, one of four, one of five. It took me to clock that. Because the, re the, the reason I clocked that is because you used to say and do little things But now I'd seen all the girls, it started to add up and I thought, aha, uh -huh, those are red flags where you aired them For instance, um, he wanted to take me to um, I need to change destinations, I'm gonna say he wanted to take me to Dubai I'm just gonna change it to that He wanted to take me to Dubai with him 
um, like a romantic getaway to make up for what happened. And he just said like to me, oh, like when we go though, cause like you're kind of bait and I'm a private person. Like um, he just said, he was just like to me, like, I don't really want you to like snap me. Just like, let's keep this between us. Let's keep it private. Nigga, what the fuck you on about? Like the fuck? Like what? Like, I'm, why would I snap somebody that's not my man? Like, I'm not gonna snap your face. But if I'm if I'm on holiday with my ting, with my bae, like, I'm gonna snap your hand. Like, I'm gonna make it clear that I I have someone and I'm with someone. But I, until it's official, I don't need to show them your face. Like, I'm not stupid, but I guess when, you belo when you're doing a ting with bare girls and bare girls think that you're theirs, like, they'll even clock your, your hand. Do you know what I mean? They'll clock you a little bit of your voice. They'll clock your... They'll just clock your ear, fam. Like, they'll clock your ear, they'll clock your lip. They'll clock anything. They'll clock the back of your head. Let me tell you something. You see my ex, if I could clock the back of his head, his hand, everything, fam. Oh, I could clock his hands, fam. I shouldn't say that. sounds so dirty. I could clock anything on that nigga. Do you understand? <laughs> I dare a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, he had loads of things. That's how I clocked. That's how I actually clocked. Um, and it really sunk in. But that wasn't the end. Because that was a full one, I, I, I kept going back. Because he kept saying sweet words to me and I really, really liked him. However, I, I, I wouldn't say I went back, like, straight away. Sometimes we wouldn't talk for months, you know? Months and months and months. He'll come back, say he's changed, he's ready for me, and then I'd go back and give him another chance. And that is how it all happened. Because I'd give him another chance. So, then something bad would happen. So if you want a part three, what did I, oh yeah, I was gonna tease you with what happened in part three. Um, part three, he buoyed me again. It was a big voyage. I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried. And it took, part three is finally when I decided like I have to block this guy. And it, it's kind of, I, ha I had to block him. Like it was too much. Like the fuck, it was too fucking much. Like, I had to realise my worth. And I had to realise, this nigga doesn't know what he wants. And I know a lot of people would be like, no, 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 maybe he was not into you. Like, bro, this, this nigga doesn't know what he wants. He, and he does it with every female. Like, I feel... Ugh. He, he, it's like... He's one of those people that you know he's got bare girls crying over him. He just can't decide. He just can't decide. Do you know what I mean? Um, and he also told me a lot of things that he shouldn't. He made it seem like he wanted to be with me forever and he wanted to marry me. But I just want to say to you lot, yeah, before I end this story time, this part two, I just want to say to you lot, guys, this story time, the reason I was able to do it without crying, without... The, the, I, I, I don't actually give a fuck like what anyone says the reason I can do that is because this story is so far removed from my emotions like it wasn't really love you know I was just like infatuated and I, I really really wanted to be with him because he was like my perfect guy but if I ever do a story time on the love of my life you will see a completely different demeanour like I swear to god because that's a trigger for me um, I want to do a story time on him, not a proper one, but I want to do a story time on him where I almost, <laughs> I almost killed the both of us in a car accident because he said something to me that triggered me, like I was so fucking upset. But yeah, I literally just wanted to kill us both. I wanted both of us, I wanted it to be luck off. Um, and I, it was just, it was literally just because I was so fucking in love with him that he just knew how to get under my skin. And that, that's on period. That's on period. But, um, yeah, you know, I need to sit down and write stuff down to do with him that I can talk about that won't trigger me too much. Because like I said, he was the love of my life and I haven't been in love with anybody since him. So, and he put me through hell back. And I went back, and I went back, and I went back. That's the one that I tattooed on my vagina. And as much as people might think that was stupid, like I was really, 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 really motherfucking in love, okay? You know? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to my story. I tried to give you some energy because, bitch, that kind of shit had never happened to me. 
I thought I was in a motherfucking movie. That, that, that kind of, that level of crazy had never happened to me. I thought I was in a motherfucking movie. Um, so, you live and you learn. I hope he marries one of his other hosts because I will never. What's that song by Taylor Swift? We are never, ever, ever, ever getting back together. We are never, ever, ever, ever getting back together. You go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. He, we are never, ever, ever, ever getting back together. Ooh, 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 yeah. subscribe make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the um bell button make sure you hit all the motherfucking buttons so you can he hear from me again bitch understand bye but i'm popping like a kardashian huh. pretty and ratchet pretty and ratchet pretty and ratchet